Hey, it's Zombie, and today's video is going to be the third installment of the Throwback Makeup series. This is going to be makeup for my early 20s. <laughs> I literally have a palette that I used to use all the time for my early 20s, which I'm going to show you guys now. This is a clean color palette very sparkly and glittery is why I got it. I got this at Hot Topic, I think. Anyway, the shadows are very loved. Were very loved. I haven't used this. I only keep it for nostalgia. But, as you can see, it's been very used. I took this with me everywhere in my early 20s. Literally, this thing came with me on six different plane trips. It's been to many different states. <laughs> many many places this palette has gone with me so the colors uh, the look that I'm going to be doing today is a rainbow look so basically I'm going to be not from this palette from my coastal sense but I'm gonna be using yeah yellow orange red I'm using my coastal sense 252 ultimate palette to do that also when I was in my 20s I did finally get into liquid foundation in my 20s and I also was always wearing red lipsticks and I always wore a lot of mascara so let's go ahead and get to this look um for foundation I'm just using my DIY BB cream to put on as a base When I first started using foundation, I used those little wedges, you know, little ones that you get in a 10-pack. I used 10-pack foundation wedges. My friend Anne got me into liquid foundation. She was the one who introduced me to it. She's like, she's like, you know what? We're going to take you to go get some foundation because I never wore, I mean, I, I mean, I never wore foundation. So she took me and we got some foundation then we went to the Dollar Tree and we got some foundation wedges and she showed me how to put on foundation I really appreciated it that she did that because I really didn't know anything about foundation and using foundation has really changed up stuff because I can actually cover up or you know hide some of the issues with my face that I have mostly scarring and in the summertime freckles but that's mostly what I'm covering up the scarring on my face. Like some old acne scarring and then chicken pox scars that I have above my eyebrows and then scarring on my chin from when I got into a bicycle wreck when I was like eight. But yeah, uh, liquid foundation is like a godsend for me. <sighs> now that we got that out of the way, we get to go and see how I did my makeup when I was in my early 20s. I didn't use brushes. I still was using the little sponge things. And I don't have any of those, so we'll have to go with what I have. So, first we're going to start with yellow. I'm going to take this bright yellow right here and put that in the inner parts of my eyes, I guess you would say. Oh, guys, just wait. I want to include that I did know what eye primer was, but I forgot to put some on. Now the look I did was pretty intricate. I didn't blend it very good, but I'm going to try and do better this. I haven't done my eyes like this literally since like I was like 22, 20, 22 probably. So we got the yellow done. The next color, of course, is orange, is this one right here. that one so now we got the orange down one more color and we'll have the eyeshadow done I'm going to use this red right here to go on the outer corners And then we get the lids done. I'm going to do the lower half, which was always in line with the top. I'm going to take the orange and go along and the yellow and the red and so on. Okay, so the high part is done. That looks better than it used to. 
And not that this was a bad look, but this was literally my everyday look. And it wasn't always just yellow, orange, and red. It would be pink, purple, and blue, or just any kind of rainbow you could think of. And it wasn't this... I mean, this isn't even greatly blended, but... It wasn't blended at all. It was just straight, harsh lines. On to talking about what I did next. What I usually did next was my eyebrows. And I basically ripped all those out, and I used this as my eyebrow powder. That was my eyebrow powder. As you can see, I used it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my NYX eyebrow powder that I have. So here we got NYX and Taupe. going to be using this one. Okay, so brows are done. Now the next step is mascara. I just used, I don't even know what mascara I used when I was in my 20s, don't ask. But I'm just going to use the Wonder Lash from Rimmel. I usually just put mascara on my top lashes because I don't want to ruin the bottom look. And last but not least is my red lip that I had when I was like 20 to 22. I'm just using Retro Red from NYC. It just looks like this. And there you go. Here's Zombie from age 20 to 22. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I am. Um, starting next week, I'm going back to middle school again, and I'm going to do second looks for each era, I guess, in my life. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video, and I hope everybody has a great night, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!